Welcome to the Canon installation video for the ImagePrograph IPF 5000 series wide format printer. In this video tutorial, we will demonstrate the general setup procedures for the IPF 5000 series printer. Each of the steps is also included in the printed quick start guide that is included with this printer. The first step is to open the shipping carton. Do not tear open the carton. Simply cut loose the bands and lift up the box. Also remove the packing material and general contents from the top of the printer. You can install the IPF 500 onto a tabletop or stand that is sturdy enough to safely support the weight of the unit. Moving the printer requires at least two people, one on each end. Firmly grasp the carrying handles under each side, lift carefully, and place the unit gently onto the table or stand. If you're using a printer stand, be sure to attach the printer to the stand using the proper fastening bolts. Remove any tape or tags from the outside of the printer. Also lift the lid and remove the belt stoppers from the inside of the unit. Keep these belt stoppers in case you ever have to move the printer to another location. Remove the roll feed unit from the carton and get rid of any packing material and tape. Now, lock the roll feed unit into place using the two thumb screws to attach it to the printer. Next, attach the output tray by aligning it with the guides and inserting it into the printer until it locks into place. There is also a cassette that should be inserted under the output tray. Connect the power cord. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to install the print heads on the IPF 5000 series printer. The same procedure is also used to change the print heads when needed. These steps are also described and illustrated in the printed quick start guide. With the power cord plugged in, press the power button and turn the printer on. The display screen on the printer will guide you through the entire process with a series of prompts starting with an on-screen prompt to open the top cover. The next prompts will instruct you to open the print head fixer levers and the print head fixer covers. Now remove the print heads from the carton and carefully open the packaging, holding the print head on the sides by the grips. Never touch the print head nozzles or any of the metal contacts. Doing so could damage the print head and affect the printing quality. Carefully remove the orange safety caps from each of the print heads. Again, be sure to avoid touching the metal contacts. Ink spillage is possible when the safety caps are removed, so handle the exposed print heads carefully. With the nozzles facing down and the metal contacts toward the back, insert each print head into the carriage. Push down firmly and close the print head levers and covers to lock each print head firmly into place. Once the print heads are properly installed, you will be prompted to close the top cover. The next step is the installation of the ink tanks. This tutorial will demonstrate the procedure of installing the ink tanks on the IPF 5000 series printer, which is also covered in the printed quick start guide. There are 12 different ink tank cartridges on the IPF 5000 series printer. Each one is color coded to correspond with the 12 separate ink tank holders. Take each ink tank packet, one at a time, and gently agitate it from side to side seven or eight times by simply turning your wrist. Do not shake the ink tank aggressively. Shaking could cause the ink to sediment, which could affect printing quality. After gently agitating the cartridge, open the pouch and set the ink tank close to the printer. Continue to agitate and open each packet until all 12 ink tanks are ready to install. Next, open the ink tank cover and the ink tank lock lever for each holder. Hold each ink tank by the grip as you insert it into the color-coded holder with the ink holes facing down. Be sure not to touch the ink holes or metal contacts as you insert the ink tank into the corresponding holder. As you insert each cartridge, press down the lock lever and tank cover to secure the ink tank. A red light will indicate that the ink tank is securely installed into the holder. With the ink tanks all installed and locked into place, you will be prompted to close the cover 
and wait while the printer automatically fills the system with ink. This takes approximately 14 minutes on the IPF 5000 series printer. Once the system is filled, you will be prompted to load the paper. This tutorial will demonstrate the proper procedures for loading roll media into the IPF 5000 series printer, which is also covered in the printed quick start guide. We're going to select the roll paper setting on the function menu and load the roll paper that is provided with the unit. Remove the roll paper from the carton and square the edges on both sides of the roll. Next, remove the roll holder and slide off the roll holder stoppers. Slide the roll onto the shaft of the roll holder and press it firmly against the flange of the stopper. Replace the other holder stopper on the other end and press firmly until the flange touches the roll. There should be no gap between the stoppers and the roll. If the roll is not held firmly in place by the stoppers, you could have feeding problems. Now insert the roll holder with the roll paper into the printer guide grooves. Insert the edge of the roll paper into the paper feed slots and feed it manually until you hear the paper feed tone. An auto feed lamp will light and the paper will feed automatically. Once the paper starts to feed, you can close the cover and check for proper alignment. Next, you will be prompted to specify the type and length of the paper being used on the function menu. The roll paper is now properly loaded into the printer. This tutorial will demonstrate how to change a maintenance cartridge on the IPF 5000 series printer. Simply remove the cassette, as well as the output tray, and slide out the maintenance cartridge. Then, insert the new maintenance cartridge back into the printer, replace the output tray, and the cassette. With the cassette in place, press the information button and wait about 5 seconds for the initialization process to take place. 